The Soviet Union never looked kindly on protesters. So, when a Soviet statesman came to Canada in 1971, dissidents saw their chance. Everywhere Alexei Kosygin went, he was greeted by sign-wielding crowds of Jews, Ukrainians, Czechs, Poles, Hungarians, and anyone else who had a beef with the USSR. But the coup de grace came when Kosygin and Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau took an ill-advised stroll on Parliament Hill. Without warning, a young Hungarian refugee ran up, jumped on Kosygin's back, and briefly rode the communist leader like a horse. Freedom for Hungary, he said before being tackled by Mounties. Eleven years later, Canada was much more welcoming to a young Soviet agriculture minister, Mikhail Gorbachev. On a tour of Alberta, Gorbachev noticed Canadian cows produce more than twice as much milk as Russian heifers. For Gorbachev, it was a shocking sign there was something seriously wrong with the Soviet system. He went back to Russia, became general secretary, and implemented a suite of dramatic reforms. And within a decade, Eastern Europe was free, and the Soviet Empire was dead. In the end, cows, not communist riding protesters, had proved to be Canada's greatest anti-communism weapon of all. Ah.